Guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we are here on the 10th assignment and we are going into Londinium, a peaceful province. And this is going to be the rags to riches challenge, the wealth gap city of only tents and luxury palaces. I'm not sure if it's possible, but we're going to give it a shot. So let's go ahead and get this started. You will enjoy this assignment. It is the most constructive that I've awarded in quite some time. With Gaul finally integrated into the Empire, we are free to expand our northern boundary to its logical extreme, Britannia. Yes, Romans have gone there in the past, but never before with the intention of establishing a permanent presence. I grant you a huge, fertile province in which to build a major port city, to be called Londinium. In keeping with the richness of this new province, I expect you to achieve very high ratings. The barbarians who live on Britannia thought their island would always keep them safe from the Roman Empire. They are likely to be very upset when they see the magnificence of Londinium. Be sure you prepare for armed resistance. Some of the tribes there are laughably weak, but the Celts might give you some trouble. Alright, so here we are on Londinium expanding the north and there is going to be some people who are upset with us by building this but as we're going a rags riches wealth gap city um, I'm not sure how grand this Londinium is going to be anyway we're looking at 10,000 population prosperity rating of 75 favor rating of 75 culture 75 peace rating of 60 75 prosperity will be tricky with a lot, all those tents but we that just means we need more luxury palaces anyway let's go ahead and go to the city and this is Londinium let's get that music going ah pause the game now this is this is a little bit of a tricky start because I tried uh, getting past the immigration glitch. Now the immigration glitch is a problem where on very hard difficulty, which we are on right now, between the population of 200 and 300, the, 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 your population is just unhappy and they move out. So if you cross 200 people, people get unhappy, they move out, it drops below 200, and then they get happy, they move back in until it's above 200. So you have to have enough immigrants on the map because immigration will stop once you cross 200. There needs to be enough immigrants on the map moving towards houses to be able to get from 200 to 300. Once you cross 300, everyone's happy again. It's a bug, but uh, to legitimately get past it, We've got some techniques. On this map, it's particularly hard because there's these wolves and we currently are on a, this challenge run where we do not wall in wolves. So instead, I thought of a slightly different tactic and I'm just gonna put a gatehouse right here. And I'm gonna bust open that. I'm gonna put down space for a single tower. And also clear the trees in front of the tower because towers can't quite shoot past trees. So there we go. So this is gonna be a little killing field and this area is now secure. To make sure this area is actually uh, walled off, the road cannot go to the other side. Perfect. Now, we need to bring in enough people. Uh, let's see, so I'm gonna leave a bit of a gap here and I'm gonna do, we need seven two by two houses. So I'm gonna do, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put... You know, aesthetically speaking, I might wanna do things a little differently. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just make this look nice because I very rarely make things look nice. Uh, I'm gonna just do it at the corner. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven two by two houses. We're gonna make some room behind it and we're gonna evolve the houses. And to make sure they evolve, just give them a single row of gardens on the back. Give themselves prefecture, engineer's post, and we need to get a barracks ASAP. So I'm just gonna put a barracks right here. Yeah, that looks good. 
And with this starting population, we can then start getting some... Uh... Is this a northern map? Oh, this is actually a northern map. We actually don't need a prefecture. <laughs> I just realized. This, this is a northern map, right? Oh yeah, we're way in the north. We don't need a prefecture. I just realized. We just need an engineer's post. Makes things easier. So let me just put that. There we go. No prefecture. Uh, now besides that, we can get our exports going. So let's just check the land exports. We can sell a lot of timber and a lot of pottery. We can also sell weapons, but I don't think we... Uh, let me just check. We can also sell wheat and vegetables. Uh, the sea trade routes aren't gonna make much, but... Uh, pottery and timber, major exports. You can see three shields each, which is a lot of stuff. Let's check our raw materials. Clay pit, timber yard. Yeah, so we have to import... Uh, iron if we want to uh, sell weapons and is it worth it buyers pay 60 sellers receive 180 so that's triple with some employment and stuff it's like at least oh, it is it is worth it it's at least doubling your money importing iron and selling weapons but for now I'm just going to make some room here for some timber yards and I'm going to we could put some clay pits there and we're gonna try keep industries somewhat away from these houses to make sure uh, they actually stay as such. Uh, I'll put the warehouse there. I'm gonna put... Yeah, that's, that's fine, right? That looks okay, right? Warehouse there and a warehouse. Let me just make sure this is as efficient as possible. Uh, one, two, three, four. Warehouse there. This one is going to be accepting pottery. And this one is going to be accepting timber. And we can... I'm not sure how many of these I'll be able to support, but let's go for at least one timber yard, one clay pit, and one pottery workshop. Now, if any of these houses devolve, we just plaza up the road a bit. Let's get people moving in. Let us prioritize engineering. And actually, let's prioritize water services above engineering. And then prioritize military. And then have the rest go into industry and commerce. And while we're at it, let's hold a festival to Mars. Because right now, it's only 21 denarii. Get Mars happy. Get a small temple to Mars down. Right next to the barracks. That makes sense. Uh, it actually look good there. So let's clear that off. Put a small temple to Mars right there. That makes perfect sense. And that should get a Mars blessing. Uh, Governor Julio in chat says, Timber isn't worth exporting. You have to be sure to max out your pottery export. Uh, yeah, but I'll just do both, you know? <laughs> we actually need two pottery workshops. Let's go ahead and get another one down. Let's keep it there first. Let's do that. Now let's see how much employment that brings in. Meanwhile, I do actually want a javelin fort. See these wolves? They're gonna be a little tricky to deal with. Uh, so we do need javelins to make sure we eliminate this group of wolves at least. Now I could... Now invasions could probably come from this side. Or this side that looks very ripe for invasions. So maybe... Uh, but then they could come from the west side as well, right? Maybe they'll come from down there? Uh, they won't be coming from here. Do invasions come from there? I don't know. I think most invasions should come from this northeastern side. So I'll probably be splitting up my military a little bit, but I will not be building so close to the edge, so anything beyond this right side is probably going to be gone. Yeah, so I'm just going to put down the javelin fort here. Oh, the wolves are already coming. Perhaps I keep the forts here. It'll just be easier to manage, right? And I might delete this in the future anyway, if we have enough money. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna put it right here. Okay. Just so we can clear that off. Now we can see some of these houses are not evolving. Just put down a plaza. Maybe a couple of plazas, yeah, just make sure things stay evolved because we need to bring in all of these people 
clay pit is running, all of this is running. I think our engineer should be able to reach the end of the road. It shouldn't be too long, I think. So the, the seven two by two houses evolved up to uh, large tents is going to bring us to 190 plus people. And you can see we're getting javelins. Those wolves are still uh, hanging around there. Now, how many people are we short by? Just a little bit. More people are moving in. We could boost our stuff a little bit here. So once we get enough javelineers, we could wipe those out. Now, as we get more employees, we can actually... Oh, there's that festival. Very good, very good. Now, as we get more people, which they are going to trickle in here, we can boost our industries. And timber is probably not worth a lot, but selling it is better than nothing. Uh, sellers receive 35, pottery is 140, it is worth a lot more, right, pottery? I just wanted to get something going. Now, if I go another uh, raw material, clay pit, I can fit them along this road, which is pretty good. Now, we're gonna be... Unemployment of 13%? 12 unemployed workforce? Really? Even with that working? That's 10 people. 2 unemployed workforce. So we could probably support another pottery workshop. That is 10 people. We may be able to support one more. I've got a good number of javelineers here. But not enough to take on the wolves, I think. If they just hang out here, we'll be able to kill a few, but they do respawn. Like, over here, they'll respawn unless we wipe out the whole pack. So with a few down, we might be able to kill them. Let's try. Come on, shoot the wolves. Come on. With the help of the tower... Come on, tower. Kill one more. Did it miss? How did the tower miss? Come on, one more wolf. Okay. Now return to fort. Did one more respawn over here? I don't think so. I think we killed them fast enough. There's a spirit from Mars, so if we get invaded, it'll be good. And now we're at 196 people. And we are one unemployed workforce. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All of this is working as intended. Nothing is collapsing. So now... We need to start selling some stuff. Pottery is not... I mean... One unit of pottery is worth quite a bit. How much is... Uh, more is coming in. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. I just realized... I'm just gonna drop taxes to make sure people are happy. Now we need to make some money, because we're actually out of money. Mm. Two units of pottery are in. I'm gonna wait for resources to stockpile a bit. Luckily, we do not need to do any kind of maze to get around the immigration glitch. I can just build a housing area right over here and it should be fantastic. Now, I do have a block for maximizing tent population. So, we have a bit of time as we pay out these wages as resources do trickle in. How much is it to open these land trade routes? 500, 500, 1,000 for each. So we will go into debt, opening up the trade routes, but we'll probably be able to earn it back pretty quick. How much is timber again? Uh, 35? Oh, that's really not a lot. More pottery is in. You know, I don't know whether it would have been more worth it. Actually, at this point, I probably should go ahead and do workshop pottery and deprioritize military, right? Because then we don't really need the military working at such a high level right now. So it should be good, should be good. Now we have to keep in mind, people do still age. If we look at the census here, there are some people which are teetering on 50 years old. Yeah, employees need it. But uh, I'll prioritize industry and commerce, so military takes the hit. Let's make sure... 
uh, governance and religion is prioritized as well. The other gods are displeased, but we have a bit of time. We have a bit of time. Uh, just waiting for more pottery to come in. Can we get... Yeah, we got four pottery workshops. Two clay pits. Quite a bit of pottery is in. Hmm. Raw materials are generally cheap over finished goods. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. But, you know, if we want to maximize money making... But I think uh, it's about time, uh, because four units of pottery... Sellers receive 140, so yeah, four units of pottery does actually pay for itself. Huh. Should I just... how many are here? Six units of timber? Like, even ten units of timber would not pay for itself. <laughs> right? Okay, that's, that's quite a bit of pottery, though. So, now it's time to open up that pottery trade route. Uh, yes, let's open this. Visit advisor. We are just gonna export all the timber, export all the pottery. We go into debt. Hmm. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. You know, we have an emote to express this in chat. It's called Zack Pa, if you're willing to use it. <laughs> mm. So that wasn't a lot of money he gave us. He gave us a little bit, but that's not enough to open up a new area. But let's let's do this. So two traders should come in here. He's gonna buy up all of that timber, which really isn't worth a lot. But two traders. A good day to you. Can yeah. I interest you in some top quality goods? Okay. So I'm worried about the gods. What is the... They're all still displeased? Okay. We gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Oh, three traders come in. Oh, wow. How much can we sell? 40 units of each. And we've got three traders. 8, 16, 24. 24 per trip. If they come three times a year. Look at that money. <laughs> Guys, we have the money. We have the money. So now we gotta get through the immigration glitch. And uh, looking over here, I think this is a good spot. Now, we are doing the rags to riches approach, and I don't think an invasion will come from there. No invasion can come from here. I don't know if something can invade us from here. Maybe we'll be a bit careful, but I'm gonna clear off this area here. And to save on money, I'm just gonna reuse this road here. And what we're gonna do is, this is a tent block, which I did actually see on Caesar Heaven. And it's going to be a 4x14 on the inside. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 4x14, four which I think is sort of the, the maximum uh, distance for uh, the walkers for uh, uh, prefects and engineers post, which we don't need prefects on this map. Let's remember. And now, uh, let's see, I'll leave some room here. I think we should be able to build a house there. Build the houses on the far side first. Because... Let's see, so we'll have an engineer's post there. Because the immigrants will walk to the far side first. We'll need to leave one gap. Right? Yes. And then we can just fill that up. I didn't even fill the middle yet. <laughs> um, but okay, that should be enough houses. By the way, there is a limitation on how many people can move in per month. So because it's been a while, it should be able to max out. Now, to make sure things do take as long as possible to get to this point, I'm gonna just block off that, so they at least have to walk around that way. I don't think I could make it any longer, really. Actually, I could. If I just block this off, they at least have to walk around there. And then they have to walk... They'll have to walk around here. And it's not really viable to, to wall this off and make them travel further, but I think this should be far enough, right? Okay, so let's speed up the game. 
Exports will continue. They're still buying timber and stuff. How is our employment? Short by a bit on military, but that's not the worst thing. That basically means the barracks isn't really training troops so fast. And here come the immigrants. So remember, as soon as we cross 200, as soon as we cross 200, people get upset. So we need these immigrants on the map because when people get upset, immigration stops. So hopefully this that ends up on the map will be at least maybe 150 because as soon as we cross 200, people will get upset. Okay, there we go. They're gonna have to go around. Just a few, like you could do well mazes, right? Like draw huge mazes like tower defense to slow the immigrants down. Because we need the immigrants all to be here. This should work. This is, On big maps, it's easier. On small maps, like earlier on in the game, it's tougher. But yeah, if we didn't kill those wolves, I've actually tried. The wolves actually walk all the way down here and they sit here and just kill every single immigrant. It's horrible. But doesn't this look nice? Doesn't this look nice? This is a nice little starting little road. Even with industries here, some plazas and extra gardens should be able to keep this going. All right, this definitely looks like 150 people. So we should be good to go. So we're just waiting for them to get over here. And at this point, we can break these well mazes so that anyone new spawning will be able to walk right through. And for aesthetics, I will rebuild that road, which shortens the distance. That sort of tries to line up the immigrants as much as possible, right? And here they come. As soon as the first person moves in, that's it. <laughs> uh, people will stop immigrating to the city, but this is a nice long stream of immigrants, which is good. Hopefully it works, hopefully. So you'll see the, the later ones that spawned. They should... Did I destroy it too late? Ah, there we go. These guys, I should have destroyed it earlier, actually. So they get to take the short route. And there we go, we crossed 200 people. People disgruntled. This is the glitch on very hard only. So now we need to get these people up to uh, 300 people while people start moving out. Ah, it's a very annoying glitch. And you can just drop the difficulty to hard uh, temporarily. Meanwhile, I do need to get fountains going. And they need to be like here. And there, I think. And there. And there. I think. Yeah. And then we're gonna need to get a reservoir up here. Right about... I'm trying to make this look good in the long run as well. Yeah, right there should be fine. So we're gonna have a reservoir there. I'm just gonna have this cut a straight line through these trees up to there. Make sure we don't block anything off. Why can't I cross it? Oh, there's people. We oh, actually have to have the road there, okay. Cross over. Get the reservoir down. And these four fountains should turn on, watering the whole block. Oh, am I actually... It's not quite reaching there. Did I misplace these? Do they have to be here and here instead? Is that... Oh, it doesn't actually cover efficiently totally, which is kind of weird. Wait, did we not hit... Did we seriously not hit... 300 people. That is so annoying. <laughs> That's so annoying. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. You know, but that's the part where we start saving the game and messing around a bit. This is the immigration glitch. I know, it's annoying. It's annoying, isn't it? Uh, to speed things up, we just kick people out.
Why are people still... Oh, as we kick him out, they just move back in. Oh, right, of course. <laughs> so now we just have to wait until... See, this is the annoying immigration glitch. We gotta wait for people to move out. Uh, meanwhile, I suppose we put down the other temples. Just temporarily. Yeah. Neptune. Ceres. Mercury. And Venus. Employees needed? Yeah. They're all irritated? Yeah. It's okay. Fine. Oh, that, that is annoying, isn't it? Ceres destroys crops? That's fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, disease. That, that just drops population to below 200. Makes things easier. <laughs> sure. You guys can have a doctor, I suppose. So now people are going to start moving back in. Venus casts a black cloud. People are still indifferent. It's fine. It's fine. Here comes the immigrants. Uh, how do I solve this problem? We could replace these houses. So this is actually not perfect coverage. Let's just do that. Enemies closing. That's fine. Oh, is that... Did we... Have we glitched out the game? Okay. I hate it when glitches happen. So, let's slow the game down. These immigrants are coming here. So we're gonna just... We have some money. We have some money. I'm gonna try... Sync these up. So by doing this, we're gonna force these immigrants to turn back. Buying us more time. <laughs> uh, it is annoying, it is annoying, but, uh... Let's clear those houses, and we'll rebuild those houses when we can. So these guys are gonna turn around. And as soon as these guys are here, I break this, so then we got two streams of immigrants coming in. So, right about here. Maybe a little bit further. And then I break this. So now we have double the streams of immigrants doing this. Smart, right? Smart? Okay, good, good. Why aren't you walking through here? Let's hope this works. Let's hope this works. <laughs> maybe, maybe. But we're gonna need an engineer's post there. Hopefully, hopefully. People disgruntled, yeah, yeah, yeah. 260, 270. Come on, please reach 300. Please. 300! Okay, we did it. We did it. So now, to make sure people get happy as fast as possible, I open, uh, I up wages to above eight. Taxes are still at zero. These few remaining people moving in should maintain our population above 300, and we wait for people to be indifferent, which means immigration starts again. We are now beyond the immigration glitch. Save your game. <laughs> Good. Hardest part of the game now passed. Okay, so now that we're past that and population is gonna start going up, we have unemployment of 13%, so let us focus on doing this so that we can now focus entirely on exporting pottery. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Short by one. How do I make this work? Oh, and look good.
put the doctors there and put a pottery workshop there. 12 pottery workshops and just to make sure things actually stay somewhat evolved I plaza up the road and see even with all the industry they stay evolved at large tents. Good. Now these houses aren't evolving. That costs 600. Bam. Works for me. Okay. Now some of these tiles are not hit by water which is a bit annoying but did I? Is this not supposed to be this size? Oh, wages went up by two, so I gotta pay people twice. Or uh, up by two. Uh, let's see a tile there, a tile there. So if I actually city has reached five hundred people though. I mean, I could fix this with wells, but I th I have a feeling that. This block is supposed to be one tile shorter. I think so. When we get more money, I'll fix that. But meanwhile, we're probably getting lots of people moving in. Shot by 16 people. Yeah. Let's just prioritize that. Military is at zero. That's fine. We actually got a full complement of javelineers there. Pottery exports are now gonna explode. How are the gods feeling? Decent. Decent. Immigration glitch is a good name for a punk band of some sort, says Evil Scientist. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's... that's... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are Immigration Glitch! <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh. Alright, so now we wait for the money to roll on in. Pottery is gonna explode. That little timber export is also going well. You know, how much are we actually... Oh, we get invaded fast here. Look at that. We don't have much steps. It is February. Okay. How's our employment? Three unemployed workforce? Sounds good. So, this is probably good to go, right? We should be producing 40 units of pottery at this rate. What, seven? There's some money. Okay, with that money, I'm going to fix this block. So I think... This is meant to be one shorter. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna break that road. Do that. And the fountain... is actually supposed to be here. And I clear that. And I replace that. No, that actually doesn't make a difference. It's still a problem. You know, that's that's kind of annoying. I guess I guess it is fine as is, you know? That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna put everything back. I guess we don't need to evolve everything perfectly, right? It's fine, it's fine. It's rags to riches. You know, some of these houses don't evolve anyway because of desirability, so who cares? <laughs> oh, that's fine. But you know what? That's no excuse to not pay your taxes. Every little bit helps. I should probably tax this area too. Yeah, we're gonna tax people. Because why not? Okay, so money seems to be rolling on in. Yep, that looks good. Which will allow us to now... How do I want to do this? Get rid of this tower to make room for a military academy right there. That looks good. And then we can start expanding our military once we get the money. See, I like selling a bit of timber because it occasionally keeps the traders in here. See? Okay. 
We can do that. We can do that. 36 months. See, because this guy came back to buy this timber, he's now gonna go back there and buy those four pottery. Getting us money a little bit quicker, you know? I'm saying they don't have water, but they're all evolved with water access. Some houses are not. Some houses don't even evolve because, you know, desirability. But you see this house here? Oh, that's evolved, but this one isn't. See, that's a small tent there. That one might not evolve as well. So there's money. Let's go another fort of javelin. You know, I'll probably just keep them here. Yeah, got two forts of javelin. This first invasion should be relatively small, but we will have... Uh... That was unemployment. 20% unemployment? Jeez. Uh, so we kind of just need money, right? I guess I up the timber yards. Right? Might as well. We're probably gonna max pottery exports, right? It's hard to tell, it's hard to tell. But might as well up our timber exports. Okay. So we can now just do a long row of uh, guys, pa. Mm. <laughs> Bake just subscribed with Twitch Prime for 12 months in a row. Bake, congratulations for... And thank you for hitting 12 months. That's a year. You get the new spiky little logo next to your name, Bake. <laughs> Since I have three traders, you only need five traders to max out 40 a year. Eight per trader. Eight, 16, 24. So we can sell 24 on one round. Yeah, 8, 16, 24. So we can sell 40 on two. And they come three times a year, right? 8, 16, 24, 40. Yeah. Okay, but here comes the money. Ah, oh, it's looking good. So now with the money, we can start trying to put 17% unemployed workforce. We need to deal with that. Uh, if I get some of these guys killed, they could become academy trained. I want to get the palaces going. This nice big open area right here in the middle will be good. Clear that off. Clear that off. Yeah. Nice big open area. We could fit plenty of palaces here. Let's get these javelineers over. Get rid of these wolves. And then we can use this farmland to start uh, getting our... Our luxury area going because we're not gonna feed any of these people no 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 no. this is rags to riches let's bust this open are the wolves gonna run at us don't think so let's approach with caution come on now one full fort I, now i do actually hope a javelinier dies yes yes perfect perfect So with a dead javelinier, the replacement will be academy trained. That looks good. Yeah, they're not respawning. Return to fort. So now we can get some farms going. Uh, what's a, we, we don't actually need a lot of farms, so it doesn't really matter. But we have 10 pottery. City's population reach a thousand, the gods are gonna be unhappy. Uh, you know, let's dispatch that. Sure. Doesn't matter too much. I'm just gonna have a single road go in like that. We're gonna need... Like a gatehouse right here. That looks good. I do like how that looks. We're gonna need to break that open. And we're probably just gonna need, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's right there. Let's, uh... How do I want to make this look good? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right there. That's gonna be the end of this farmland. 
That's gonna be the exit, and we could have some stuff go there soon. So this is now Academy Train. Fantastic. Now it's February. Oh, it's a new year. We gotta check if we're... You know, we probably should get a... We probably should get some sort of uh... How do I do this? They're all displeased. Weapons industry going. If I, I need to move these temples, I think. How's our unemployment? 27% unemployment. We gotta get those houses moved in, then we can get things going. Those guys should be heading up there. That's fine. Now, my only concern is if an invasion comes from here, because no invasion or there, you know? It's a bit of a long walk. Uh, but you know, javelins are fast. So I guess I could just keep the javelins all here. And keep the legionnaires somewhat closer to the middle of the map. Yeah, that's fine. We'll have three forts of javelins here. Get that going. That should be enough to keep us safe for now. How is our health, by the way? City health is poor? You know, poor city health shouldn't get us killed quite yet. But now we can go... Uh, actually... Oh, they're here. First invasion. Where are they coming from? There. What are these guys? Steve the Capitulator is here. Celtic warriors. We've got Blackbeard, Nobeard, Greybeard, lots of beards. Kenneth the Fastidious, John the Pain, and Two-Toed Pete. Two-Toed Pete? Oh, I feel a bit bad for him. Now we do have a blessing from Mars to keep us safe. But let's just go engage them in battle anyway. That looks pretty good. I don't know how big this invasion is gonna be, but... Oh, they got chariots? Wayne of Call. They've got chariots on this, jeez. I don't remember seeing these kinds of units. I don't know whether it's limited to... very hard or what, but... Are you in range yet? There we go. Let's, if we can kill them before the Blessing of Mars goes off, we can actually save the Blessing, but I don't think we can kill them fast enough. They're already running away. Okay. Ah, damn it! The Guardian of... Uh, oh well. Okay. But you know, to try and get it back, he is currently irritated. Let's hold a new festival to Mars. <laughs> easy enough, easy enough. And plenty of pottery is in. It's currently June. How much have we sold? 14 of 40. We did give 10 to Caesar, so... Uh, we currently also have 31% unemployment, so let's... How do I actually want to do this? Farms. Wheat generates faster. So we want like three wheat. Four vegetables and four pigs, I think. Slightly off there, sorry. Get the three types of food and they're all gonna go through here where we're gonna need more houses, I think. So we need some room. How do I want to do this? I'll leave a gap there. I actually have have it like this. Is that correct? Yeah. I'm gonna have. Houses spread like that. Engineers post on either side to make sure nothing collapses. I want to 
quick. Yeah, that looked good. Four engineers posts. There we go, that looks good. This one is going to be accepting meat. Sorry. This one is going to be accepting vegetables. This one is going to be accepting wheat. Because wheat is closest to here, we want it on the furthest granary. So it sort of evens out, right? Sort of evens out. All right, we are trying to make things aesthetic as well, right? We want to make things look good, right? You have no bonuses in food production in northern climate. Really? Well, if that's the case, then problem solved. <laughs> four, four. So that'll be the three types of food coming into here. Yeah, so this is going to be sort of a centralized distribution and we can have palaces all over on this side. If we need employment, we just build more of these. All right, that's looking pretty good. Rats have been discovered. There's the festival to the gods, okay. No employees in granaries? Yeah, don't worry, they'll be moving in soon. Uh, health. City health is terrible. We're gonna need another doctor. I think it doesn't really matter where you put it. Another doctor should do it. Hmm. That's a problem. Which we can solve. Problem solved. Can I evolve this house at all? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so these guys should be moving into here to get those granaries functional. All the food can start stockpiling, which will be good. For aesthetic. There's the disease. Yeah, I was a little late. I was a little late. The, the rats tipped it over. I wasn't expecting the rats to do that. Hmm. Knocks off a good number of people. Employees needed, yeah. For aesthetics, I will fill that up. I like that tree. There. That looks good. These houses have moved in. Engineers posts are now functional. I put four just because of aesthetics, really. Are all these... Some of these granaries... Those houses haven't moved in. There we go. There we go. Now the food can start stockpiling. Are we short by people? No, it's uh, short by 31. That's fine. Pottery looks good. It's now November. Let's check our exports. We are still not maxing on pottery exports. Selling timber as well. I think we might be overproducing timber. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we're overproducing timber. So let us... Get rid of that. If we produce less timber, they will prioritize pottery. That's, that's important. We need to find a balance. Really? Really? Again? Oh, jeez. Uh, hmm. Perhaps I need a doctor as well. This, this one. Oh, is the place... It's, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, you guys can have a doctor. Uh, some people just want everything. You know, you might all be dying from plague, but we're going to make your neighborhood look a bit nicer. <laughs> uh, are there crickets around my house at the moment? Yes, yes, uh, there are crickets at my house. I do live in the tropics. 
is January. We're selling more pottery. Is there a priority of any kind? A good day to you. Can I interest you in some topology? We're probably, yeah, we're short by quite a lot of people now. So let's just cut back on timber production. Meanwhile, that's looking good. Um, so since we need more people, I'm just gonna clear off this forest here. And we can also... Some of those houses survived. Well, some of these houses survived the plague. You know, we can also up our taxes again. 7%. And let us... Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4... Get the next tent block going. One, two, three, four. And it should go up to here. Okay, and we have the fountains, which we can keep symmetrical. Oh, this doesn't need to be there. We can move this up. One, two. And I'll actually hit a little bit more. Right? That should... That actually covers one more house than before. Yeah. Back to a thousand people. Good. Make some room here. Okay. Get some houses coming in. Engineers post. I'm gonna keep this all as symmetrical as possible. Uh, forum. Houses. Leave a gap. House. Bam. <laughs> Second tent block down. Plaza. Okay, good. That's gonna bring in all the people needed to start setting up uh, the rest of our... Luxury palaces. yourself. How's our export ratios right now? 24 of 40 with some timber sold. This is looking good. Look at that. I'll prep for the row of gardens as well. Forgot to leave a doctor. You don't need a doctor. Doctor coverage doesn't actually matter. It's just number of doctors. See? You kind of want to keep your health at below average. That way, old people don't live too long. <laughs> like, if we look at the census here, right? We don't really want people crossing 55. If we keep health below average, old people will die, new people will move in or be born, which is great. We just gotta wait for all of these people to move in, get our shop by 47. Yeah. Guys, come on, move in. Why are we so low on money? Are you buying stuff? Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go, there's some money, there's some money. There we go. September now, we just sold a lot. 40 out of 40 pottery, fantastic. We still have some timber left. So I guess we could have two timber yards producing timber. So we could sell more timber. We want to just make sure pottery maxes and then timber sells afterwards. We're gonna be invaded again. Uh, how's our 
12% unemployment, fantastic. So now we can do some luxury palaces. Now, how do I actually want to do this? We have uh, this. Do I want to do like a road and a hook or something? We don't want the palaces or markets too far from these granaries. So... It would actually be better if we did it this way, right? So if, for example, I just put a gatehouse right here. Oh, that looks really weird. Can I make it look not so weird? Not really. Then again, I'm gonna need some... Yeah, I'm gonna need some warehouses anyway. So I could just have... I'll need four warehouses here. One, two, three. Four. This is gonna be for our resources. We're gonna need pottery here. Okay, that looks good. Uh, if I actually, I could make this somewhat more efficient. But then, hmm. No, no, I'll, I'll figure that out later. So we're gonna need to import some things, right? Wine, oil. Yeah, wine and oil, we need to import. We can produce furniture and pottery, okay. Water trade route. Hmm. Down there? There's no real good spot for a water trade route, but it's okay. Did no one ever move in there? No one ever moved in there, okay. But anyway, we've got this going, so we can have this sort of, let's say, a kind of transitionary highway, which will look good. Maybe not that long. And we have a gatehouse, right? Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that, I'm doing that, because I'd like to plaza that up like that, okay. And then we have our luxury palaces coming here. So I'm gonna have a block and a road. I think I've done something similar before. But we're gonna need a block. Which extends out this way. And we're gonna need a road. That extends out this way. So... Let's see, one, two, three, four. Gap of two, one, two, three, four. That's gonna be there. We're gonna have our... We don't want the markets traveling too far. One, two, three, four. This will make sense. And then we just have a long road extending out this way. Which will have room for everything that we need. Now what's the walking distance of things? It's like... 22, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So just to be safe, I'll set that at 22. This is gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. Hmm. 
Would this be too big? I think that's okay, right? That should be okay. Shorten this a bit. Okay, good. Keep things looking natural. And then we can just go ahead and get one, two, four. Get those four going. And we can go... How much room do we need for services? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. One, two, three, four. Two. That should be okay, right? And they will expand out that way. Pa, don't worry. <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry. That's because we're running slowly and we just spent a lot of money. We're gonna have those houses too. What? Oh, no, no, no. Damn it. Uh... <laughs> okay, I forgot. I didn't set these warehouses to doing anything. That's just gonna be accepting furniture. Uh, this is going to be... Not accepting anything. And I'm just gonna delete that. We don't have access to the resources these will be getting yet. Okay, so this is gonna be my luxury palace. We're gonna have six here. We could fit more. Is that always there? Uh, and then we can have another six there. We can have like the chariot maker there and then the hippodrome attached to this block so the hip this will get hippodrome access and the chariot will run down this road, which all should be very good. Now let's just make sure nothing falls apart. We're gonna put an engineer's post right there and right there. For now, just to make sure everything's fine, nothing's collapsing, very good. Ah, like the plan, like the plan? Okay, now I don't know, I don't know if, uh, really still 24% unemployment? Jeez, we have way too many people. Uh, <laughs> hmm. We have way too many people. It's March. We haven't sold anything this year. How is it March and we haven't sold anything? Ah, there's the trainers. Can you buy some pottery, please? Thank you. Okay. So yeah, this is how it's gonna go. Nice, nice. The houses you said didn't move in by the granary are actual houses. The textures are just bugged out. Check them again. Oh, so it is. It says small tent. That That's just bugged out. Okay, no problem. We're gonna hear pa a lot as we teeter on the edge here. Now, people are probably... People are extremely pleased with me. Oh, okay, then the unemployment doesn't matter. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we should be producing plenty of food for these areas here. So, now that we're getting some money, we're gonna start providing all the services we need. And also, uh, is there really nowhere we can put a dock on this coast? Really? Just down there? Wow, they, they designed this to be hard. We could get a dock there, but that's kind of... I think last time I played this map, I also put a dock down this way. Which is annoying, I don't...
ship bridge. Can I cross over here? I can. How much is that gonna cost? A thousand two hundred? Is that the cheapest? Yeah. That's a thousand three. Okay. Let's clear off these wolves. And we're gonna put a dock right here. No, no, don't, don't. We just hit 2,000 people though. Ah, oh, military controls in these games. Ah, oh, nice little village. A village that does actually look like that. Now, can they actually deal with this? One academy trained fort of javelineers should be able to deal with some wolves, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, let's just put a little road there. Get some houses there. Put a dock right there. And we are going to be importing... Two things. We are going to be importing. Oh, we need to open the trade routes, of course. Engineers posts. Well, wow. okay. Shorten that road. Okay, so that's where imports are going to come from. We do need to open the trade routes to here. Seven hundred and six fifty. Okay, no problem. Uh, so while we wait for that to move in, we can set up the rest of this. But we do need to start importing marble as well. We've got the pottery over. I suppose we can put down the market. Uh, enemies closing, that's fine. We're gonna move this Temple of Venus over so that we can put down a warehouse right here so that we can start importing some marble. That will be nice. Oh, we actually haven't opened that trade route either. What does that other land trade route provide? Buys weapons, 500, yeah, just open that. Let's import some marble. It's gonna be annoying. Okay. This is timber, yes. This is pottery. Ah, oh, all of these warehouses. I hate how it starts showing the resource when you open the trade room. It's the most annoying thing. So we actually have to go through all of this and turn off marble. Okay, done. I could just put some farms on the island with a dock, no? The water trade routes buy some food. Oh yes, they do, don't they? That, that's, that's a good point. We could just sell some food if we needed some extra money. But let's deal with this. We do have a blessing from Mars. What do they buy again? Wheat and vegetables. A bit more vegetables though. From this side again? Okay. We're gonna set up there. We're gonna set up there. We're gonna set up there. Yeah. Let's just deal with these guys, shall we? Did we just import a bunch of marble? We did. Okay. Let let's uh intermittently do that, shall we? So we have a blessing from Mars and we've got three forts of javelins this time. You know, I might be able to get away with just javelins. Yeah, we, we can deal with this. This is no problem. All right, good. I think we saved our blessing from Mars. Uh, we will be feeding this area, but they don't have any... 
Yeah, they don't have any water yet. So it's not actually getting anything. <laughs> Fountain. What's the range of a fountain again? One, two, three, four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we want to have decorative fountains as well, something like that. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should reach, right? Yeah. Reservoir can keep somewhat of its distance. Look at this trick, huh? Click and drag the reservoir. Is that? Oh, really? <laughs> ah, it needs to be too closer. There we go. Perfect. That looks fantastic. I love it. I love it. Okay, now we need more money, by the way. Why are they not buying pottery? Did we actually max out sales? No. Wait. Guys. What? It's March. Did th these guys... No, it hasn't been three months, right? Why didn't they buy any pottery? What? They were on the map before the reset, but they, they, they were here. They were here, and look, I just watched some traders here, and walking from here to here is like a month, and it's March. Which means they... Wait, when? Okay. It doesn't take three months to reach there. There we go. Buying some pottery now. Yes, please. Thank you. That was strange. Why didn't they buy the pottery? Well, now they're buying the pottery, so that's good. Let, let's speed it along so we make some money here. Okay. That's good. So we just sold a bunch of pottery, 24 units, 8, 16, 24. All 24 went into those caravans, which is good. These houses are now evolving. Uh, desirability, religious access. Let me just check. The block is not too big, right? No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. This is gonna look so fantastic when we all set it up. Three types of food already in the market, fantastic. Okay, we can do that, we can do that. Maybe they didn't feel like it. Fair buy. <laughs> uh. Oh well. Um, we we need money. I would actually love to set up services. We have the unemployment. Um, I guess I put down the services that make sense. We're gonna be hearing pa a lot. The market's going there. Just put down the forums, I guess. Wait, no, no. We don't want a forum there. We want the f services away from the gatehouses. We need to... Yeah. Make sure there are rooms for all the oracles we want to place, which reminds me the gods are going to be a bit unhappy. So let's go one, two, three, four. There. One, 
two, three, four. So that means these fountains. Series destroys my crops, that's fine. I actually want to move these fountains there, right? And these fountains here. Oh. Wait, did I miscount this? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, that's correct, that's correct. I miscounted on this side. Okay, so the gods are all gonna be unhappy. Actually, no, now they're fine, now they're fine. A couple oracles did the trick. Uh, we could get some large temples for decorative purposes. But it's not very efficient. So I'm just gonna put small temples. So you guys can have Venus and Mars. We need three temples each, right? You guys can have... What's the room? Ceres. Mercury. Neptune, and we'll need to double up over here, you know, Mars. Okay. Extra to Mars, that's fine. Okay, so we have started feeding this area with the money we now have. We can start providing all the services they require. Uh, schools are not so desirable, so we will try and spread this out a bit. Schools also really suck in terms of where the walkers go. Let's do that. Let's give them a library. Let's give them... What else do they need? Bathhouse. Uh, I'll try space out the services. They'll need a doctor, so a doctor can go... I'm gonna put an oracle there. Doctor can go there. They'll need a barber. Uh, barber can go... Right there, I'll leave some... Actually, no, we, we need space for... Barber can go right there. So we can put in some desirability stuff there. Actually, no, that, that's... I probably need an oracle there as well. How do I want to space this out? Engineer's post, and... <laughs> that makes a bit more sense. Move those over. What do these guys need? Entertainment, right. I haven't built any <laughs> entertainment. All right, so you guys need a theater, for sure. Um, you guys need an amphitheater, which we can place... Oh, we didn't have a Mars Spirit. We're gonna need a Hippodrome. So this bathhouse probably has to be here. Yeah. Um, theater, amphitheater, we're gonna need Actor Colony. One, two, three, four. Actor Colony, Gladiator School, Lion House, Chariot Maker. Oh, we're under attack again. We're under attack again. Okay. Okay. That's gonna extend to there. Where are we being? Same place? Same place. So we do actually have a spirit from Mars. Uh, we, we could probably speed this up a little bit. It's a little bit of a bigger invasion, you know? I think I'm just gonna do this. Is this gonna work? Where's the spirit from Mars? There's the spirit from Mars. Maybe I should have waited for the spirit from Mars. Okay. <laughs> that was That was not very efficient, but... It's fine. 
I'm busy setting up these houses. I'm just gonna extend this road down to here. Have some houses right there. Make some space here. Have an engineer's post stuck right at the end. Go to raw materials, timber yard, get two of those. Get some workshops for furniture. One, two, three, four. And now we got a furniture bit set up. We can have... What did we want to sell here? Selling a bit of wheat and vegetables, right? That's not efficient, but... <laughs> We're gonna do it. This is gonna accept... Wheat. And this is gonna accept vegetables. I mean, might as well, right? Okay. And we're gonna move this engineer's post... ...to that. Okay. Speed it along. And that seems like a pretty good start to this map, right? What do these need to evolve? Desirability? Yeah. This seems like a pretty good start to the map. We still have 18% unemployment, 177 unemployed workforce, just from these two tents. By the way, um, these tent blocks hold about a thousand people each, which is why we're, we're across 2,000. Uh, I don't know what's up with... Okay, we are still selling pottery. Buy, buy more pottery, please. So yeah, we, we stabilize. We'll get those back soon. We're not currently under attack, so we'll have time to recoup our javelin forces. Uh, with that, we can probably plaza this up. Yeah, get these houses evolved a bit further. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and get those two oracles down. There we go. That'll keep the gods happier. Fantastic. These houses will move in, furniture will come in, that one bazaar should keep working. Increase in wages, pa. <laughs> Just a few clean up things here. It went up to... Th uh, so we want it 8 above, right? For 44. 36 to 44, yeah. Taxes are 7%. We could probably up the taxes a bit. People idolize me as a god, we can up the taxes a bit more. <laughs> And overall, this is looking pretty good, right? I know we, we keep teetering on on some stuff here, but yeah, we probably should set up that import for iron and selling of weapons, though. Is that all land trade route? Yes, it is all land trade route. So we could set it up any way we like, really. I want another vegetable farm, because we can sell twice as many vegetables as... Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Alright, so that seems to be a good place to bring part one to a close. We have set up the two tent blocks and uh, the palaces, or the palace areas at least, are gonna be on the way. All right, so that's going to be the end of part one for the Rags to Riches challenge of the Wealth Gap City on Londinium, tents to luxury palaces. And uh, we've got a lot more to do, but I think that's been a very solid start. And as we continue along, things are going to get better and better. So if you'd like to continue watching this, if you're watching on YouTube, just click the button on the screen right now and it'll take you to part two. Otherwise, do check out the rest of the channel for more city building content. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.